What is going on boys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down the week four schedule. We're going to be talking about the teams with the most off nights, the least amount of games, the best schedules, the worst schedules, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. First off, I want to talk about the teams with the most games and off nights. This is going to help you maximize your schedule. If you have players on these teams, it might be wise to add players from these teams for the entire week. So let's break it down, guys. The number one schedule for this week are the Philadelphia Flyers. They're the only team with four games and two off nights, so it is going to be beneficial having these players on your team. They also have a very good opponent goals against average, so there's a good chance that these Flyers players put up some good goals. And then we have a tier break, guys. We have the Stars, the Coyotes, and the Knights. These three teams have four games and one off night. There's a chance Monday could be an off night, but in general, guys, still a good schedule for these teams. Then we have another tier break, the Devils, the Sabres, and the Blues. These teams have three games and two off nights. So if you can add, for example, you know, add a Sabres player on Wednesday, drop them on Sunday, add a Devils player on Friday, drop them Monday. That's the way you're going to maximize your games. Then finally, we have the Anaheim Ducks. They play three games and two off nights, Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. However, like I said, Monday could be an off night. So make sure you check your schedule. The Ducks have been scoring a lot of goals lately, but they have tough opponents this week. So they might come back down to reality. We'll see what happens. Moving on to the teams with the least games. We actually have eight teams this week that only play twice this week. It is not going to be ideal if you have a bunch of players on these teams. So you might have to make some drops. Just to list these off, we have the the Oilers, the Sharks, the Capitals, the Wild, the Penguins, and the Senators all having two games and no off nights. And then we have the Avalanche and the Flames having two games, but one off night. A lot of these teams have tough opponents as well this week, so it might not be wise to add players from these teams for this week. It's not going to help you maximize your games and it might cost you. Moving on to the teams with the best opponent record, we have five teams on this list. The goalies on these teams could do well, the players on these teams could do well, but I do wanna say that we are basing this off a very small sample size, so I wouldn't trust it completely. To list these off, guys, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Vancouver Canucks, the Nashville Predators, the Dallas Stars, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, moving on to the worst opponent record, these teams have tough schedules this week, so it might be tough if you have a lot of players on these teams. We have the Colorado Avalanche, the Detroit Red Wings, the St. Louis Blues, the Winnipeg Jets, and the Minnesota Wild. Moving on to the highest opponent goals against average, these teams right here are facing teams that let in a lot of goals, so it might be wise to have players on these teams for this week. We have the New York Rangers, the Philadelphia Flyers, the New York Islanders, the Ottawa Senators, the Pittsburgh penguins and the new jersey devils now moving on to the teams with the lowest opponent goals against average these teams right here are facing teams this week that have not let in a lot of goals this season it might be rough rostering a lot of players on these teams guys we have the detroit red wings the edmonton oilers the winnipeg jets the florida panthers and the san jose sharks now moving on to the streamers to help you maximize your games i think the flyers are the best option for this week because they are the only team that have four games and two off nights and like i said earlier monday could be an off night for you to list these off guys we have Travis Konechny, Sean Couturier, Cam Atkinson, Travis Sanheim, all first line power play guys. Owen Tippett on that top line, Bobby Brink on the first line power play, Joel Farabee, Scott Lott and top six guys, and then Noah Cates who started off pretty good as well. These guys can put up some good numbers this week. And we also have Carter Hart who I think is a great stream for this week considering the Flyers opponents and their good schedule. So take a look at him as well. Then we have some Ducks players. They have three games and two off nights. They do have a tough opponent schedule guys, but they have been scoring a lot of goals. They could have three off nights as well if Monday is a light night for you. But just to list these off, guys, we have Frank Vetrano, who's been on an absolute tear. We have Mason McTavish, Ryan Strom, Troy Terry, Trevor Zegras, power play one guys, except McTavish, who's on the second power play unit, which shouldn't be the case, but I digress. Then we have Adam Henrique, Leo Carlson, Pavel Mintyukov. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but he's on the first line power play, which is very interesting. And then we have Cam Fowler. Now moving on to the teams with four games and one off night. I'm not going to list these guys off, but basically all these players are either Coyotes, Dallas Stars, or Vegas Golden Knights players. They all have four games and one off night. Monday could be an off night as well for you, but take a look at some of these guys. I listed them off based off their production so far. It's going to depend on your league settings on how you rank certain players, but these guys could be good options if you have some open spots in your schedule this week. Now moving on, we have some Sabres and Blues players. Both of those teams play Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday this week. Wednesday and Friday being off nights, so you might want to pick them up on Wednesday and drop them Sunday to help you maximize your games. I'm going to save you guys some time and not read these names off. You guys can see it here, but there's some pretty good options, and hopefully the Blues can bounce back because they 
they have looked terrible so far. Finally, I want to talk about some Devils players to stream. They play Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, Friday and Sunday being off nights. So to maximize your games, you're either going to want to pick them up on Thursday or Friday and then drop them Monday. The reason I say Thursday or Friday is because it depends if you can roster one of these Devils players on Thursday night. It's a heavy night, so you might not be able to, but check your schedule and see if you can. The Devils have an electric offense and their opponents this week led in a lot of goals. So some of these Devils players are going to have big nights. Obviously, most of the Devils top six is going to be rostered in your league, but some of these guys are not. So make sure you take a look at them. Luke Hughes is a guy who's a long-term hold, in my opinion. He's a must-add player, but he's under 85% rostered, so I had to include him. But the rest of these guys could be good short-term ads for this week. A guy like Dawson Mercer has zero points in seven games, so I'm hoping he can bounce back. A couple of these other guys are good as well, so take a look at these Devils players for the weekend, and it could pay off. All right, boys, that's the end of the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one.